My name is Matthias Zeitler. I came to Bulgaria about four years ago and I opened Coworking Bansko, a co-working space in a small rural mountain resort in Bulgaria, which um, in the winter is a big ski resort and in the summer it's like a small village. I'm originally from Munich in Germany. For a long time I worked at large companies in the translation and localization industry and then I started my own online marketing company that was focused on technology. I met people that didn't really have a home anymore, that were just living out of a trolley, and I realized I'm one of them. I found it really interesting to be surrounded by entrepreneurs and freelancers, and at some point I decided I want to have my own co-working space. <laughs> Bulgaria is actually a very interesting location because there's a low cost of living, there's low taxation, it's in Europe, so you don't have any issues with visas and it has amazing nature, so I found Bansko. For me, this was a natural choice to come here. So we have people from all over the world. Most of them work in digital, but we also have people that uh, write books, for example, that are translators, we have graphic designers. So, of course, we could all work from home, but it's quite boring. A lot of people come to Coworking Bansko for the community. The magic behind Coworking in general is that you're surrounded by like-minded people. So we do a lot of skill shares and presentations. People go skiing and snowboarding. So it's really a mix between working and just enjoying this mountain town. So when we first started Coworking Bansko five years ago, it was more of a hobby. Since then, we have grown into one of the most recognized nomad destinations in Europe. We are averaging about 100 members, and of course this means there's also a lot of new requirements. So what we want to do, we want to attract companies to Bansko, while in the past we mostly had freelancers and solopreneurs. I want to transform co-working Bansko from being a business that I own into something that our community owns together. One of the projects how we are going to make this happen is uh, co-living Bansko, where we will offer accommodation. So a lot of people always ask me, Matthias, co-working Bansko is great, how can I do this as well? I think it's super important to first understand what is the reason to start this business. It's a different answer for everyone, depending on their motivation. So find out why you want to do co-working and then build the co-working space of your dreams.